Alola, and welcome to Pokemon Moon. We're on episode 66. Faint letters can just barely be made out, carved into the ancient stone monument. Ahead lies a gra sacred ground of trials. None who do not take part in its trial will be allowed to walk upon this earth. Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guarding this land will be denied entry. But those who believe in their Pokemon and walk beside them shall gain great power. There's no captain to be found. That seems like you stand at the edge of a trial site. Are you ready to challenge the trial? Oh boy. What's up with this vast Pony Canyon trial? Doesn't it kind of remind you of Ilyasma's trial? Perhaps a little bit. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Whoa! Something just attacked me. Oh! It's Jung Mo! Jung Mo! -oh. So this is a dragon type trial. I should probably put uh Ninfi first then. Also, Boldor and freaking Jolteon could probably do something here too. These Pokemon don't seem very high. I think I'm gonna keep Ninfi on the front though, just in case. I don't trust the fact that I've been facing level 47 Pokemon and then I walk into a trial which is supposed to be, you know, stronger and level 40 comes in. You feel an even fiercer gaze than before. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and throw Ninfi up on front. We got Rake and Ninfi up on the front. You get into any double battles. I don't think we will, but you know, you never know. Dragon Claw. Alright. Okay, the, the fact that there's no music here is kind of creepy. That's just that ambience is the only noise. It's a tad bit creepy. Hello, Hakamo. Oh, I have no idea how to pronounce these Pokemon names, by the way. Hakamo. Oh, Twinkle Tackle. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, Ferium Z is adorable. You can do like a little heart and then you do this little like pose, it's adorable. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my. Wow. What the heck was that? What in the world was that? That was the weirdest move. Oh my gosh, It that was definitely, definitely fairy. Feel the fiercest pairs of eyes imaginable drilling into you relentlessly. Alright, here comes the totem Pokemon. Will you take the Z crystal from the pedestal? I will try. And I will fail. Because, yeah. The fully evolved form of those two Pokemon. Como, 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 oh. Totem Como Totem Como oh. That's right, it was Como oh. It's rose to fled to life, it's that's rose. Now is when I wish I hadn't dropped Ch disarming voice. Let's take it out in one shot, it's only level 45. Nice. Avoided that. <laughs> I love how adorable that is though. Oh my goodness. The most adorable Z move. Twinkle, tackle. It's like, I just like float around and smash it with a star. And send it flying into oblivion. Oh! I just beat a totem Pokemon in one shot! What the heck? Oh my gosh! 
I did not expect that. I've never one-shot a totem Pokemon before. Kamo'o hid itself somewhere in the deepest regions of the valley. Yay! What is that? Jigamium Z? Trial complete! Yes! I completed all seven trials. Or, so I assume. Paint the Dragon Type Z Crystal. The Draginium Z is yours. See, Draginium makes sense. Cleared another trial, but the real trial will still be pushing on beyond this point, I think. Oh boy. Here we are, the altar. Altar of the Moon. That makes me wonder then, does the Altar of the Sun... Is that where you have to go instead in Pokemon Sun? Serene! How'd you two get through here without doing the trial? Our history tells us that the best Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial ever to be held. You did a fine job clearing it just as expected, Serene. You've cleared all seven trials of Alola's Island Challenge now. That's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and really became a, become a great trainer, haven't you? And she could never have done it without you, Sylveon. Let me heal you up real quick. I probably couldn't have. Not without Sylveon at the front. Look at the two of you. I think this might just work out. No, I am quite sure of it. The sun flute and the moon flute. If we sound both together. Let's go, Serene. I need zoinks! Would you look at these stairs? If you make it up the mall, you'll reach the altar. So here's a question. Can I now fly to this place? Yes, I can. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't want to fly away because I didn't want to have to work to get back here. Whoops. I hit a button and said just hitting B. I just called Charizard to give me a ride to the spot that I already was. Oops. Oh, it actually puts me in the cave. That's interesting. So I did fly a little. Oops. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's go, Serene. This is a lot of stairs. I don't think I could ever make it up this many. First of all, I have a horrible fear of tall sets of stairs. Just just trying to climb this in real life, that would just... No. No. That, that would just be the end of it for me. I would not be able to. I'm not afraid of heights, just stairs. I can feel the strong power of the moon. Nebby, I'm going to make my mother wake up and see reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. The sun flute? It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. And I will play the moon flute, I assume. Serene, you should stand over there. Yep, I have to go play the sun flute. The time has finally come. Make sure you and Lily both, both blow your flutes at the same time. I'm doing some kind of weird voice that isn't even Rodham anymore. Rodham was like this. Will you blow the moon flute? I think we should wait until the moon has risen. Here we go. I think we're about to meet Lunala. Oh, hey, I actually have a different expression on my face for once. Oh. Oh my. What's happening? Um, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I actually have a different expression this time. Oh, Cosmog, Nebby. Nebby! Is Nebby like gaining power from this or something? What What's going on? Oh my! Yep! Oh my! Nebby was Lunala! Well done! Oh boy! So Nebby was Lunala! Yay! Ah, oh my. Well then, this is going to be interesting. Nebby, th thank goodness you're alright. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power. Or let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Yeah! Not in all of my reading. Never did I ever come across any hint that you would evolve into legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. No. Nebby, please. I need to see my mother. My Nebby! Oh boy. Am I gonna catch it? Am I going to battle it? No, I guess not. Opening the Ultra Wormhole! Oh my! Now we're going through the Ultra Wormhole! Even better! Oh my! What is this place? Ultra space. What is this place? Oh boy. How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected. But the air is so thick here, it almost hurts to breathe. Do you think the Ultra Beasts really are Pokemon? I don't know what to call them anymore. We should go. Happy! What is it? Are you telling us you, that you have to stay there? I'm I'm so grateful to you for bringing me here, Nebby. Thank you. I guess I have to go the rest of the way myself. Oh my. <sighs> Lunala, will you return to your own world? No, not right now. We're in ultra space. What's ahead? Guzma! I'm the team Skull Boss, and I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what Big Bad Guzma has to say. Y'all are stupid! <laughs> really? <laughs> Such profound words. How in the world did you even get to this place? I've got no idea how you did it, but here you are. Hmm. It's all dark here. I've got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those things. There are quite a few of them, indeed. It just, it just passed right by. Right. But it possessed me, and that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild. I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became somebody else, and I finally felt what fear feels like. It was terrifying. 
I may be the Team Skull boss. I've never been scared of nothing or nobody, but that lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Oh boy. I see an Ultra Beast over there. There's a great many of them. What's this mean? Look at it. The world of my Ultra Beasts. A world where the only living thing that exists is the love between Nihilego and myself. So beautiful. So delicious. This is the real paradise. And yet you! Why must you continue to pester me? I am sick of you. Sick through and through! Who told you that you could come here to the perfect, beautiful world of my beasts and me? Think about what you're saying. Think about Mr. Guzma. Don't you care what happens to him? Guzma. Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Look around you. Look at this beautiful world that I've finally come to. You want me to go back to that world? That's what you've come to bother me for? Even you cannot be that stupid. You, you always do that. It's just like it was back at Aether Paradise. Only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? And why shouldn't I? I can live here in a world filled with only the things that I love. And I will live here. I don't care if you're my child or not. I don't care if you were loyal to me or not. I don't care if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you. That's pretty harsh. That's right. All I need to exist in my world are the things that I want to have with me. Everything else is just a bother to me. I am the one who is sick of you, mother. Children, children are not just things that belong to their parents. Pokemon are not just things that a trainer can do whatever they want to. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. You are not things for you to collect. I'm not made for you to just discard when you get bored with us. This is terrible, Mother. You are terrible. Terrible? Me? How am I different from any Pokemon trainer? Like your little friend there. What do you do with the Pokemon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. Enough with this useless talk, Lily. I will never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never! Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, even you were adorable to me. But you changed. You've become ugly. Ever since you met this girl, Serene, and learned to defy your own mother. Serene, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nihilego and me. It is not to be born. With Nihilego's power, I will show you how wrong you were to come here. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This can't be good.
That's a different Pokeball. Oh. Boy. What? 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 Um. <laughs> oh my! Uh. Well then! <sighs> that was my eighth or present Lusamine. Oh my! Oh, they're all like totem level. They've all got auras. Oh no! Level 50! <laughs> oh my! Well, this is not great. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. Uh, right in the middle of the battle. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed, and next episode we will do our best to try and defeat Lusamine. <laughs> <sighs> so long, everybody. Alola!